All right, so shout out, first of all, to a donation from an individual called Jack. I'll just leave his name as Jack. Uh, hopefully I won't say his entire name, but I figure Jack is fake enough in order to conceal his identity. Uh, shout out to him for the gracious donation and especially the letter that he gave me via my Instagram, which to be honest, I need to do more on my IG. I get it. So any of you who want to give me some advice on what I should do in my IG, besides post videos when they come out, yeah, feel free to do so. But nonetheless, we're having a good conversation and a dialogue in which he brought up some things about, hey, I really appreciate the video on where in America can brothers can find acceptance. And you know what? I think this is a good time because first of all, as of right now, yes, we're in the post beer flu slash George Floyd slash Joe Biden world. All right, we get it. And there are certain things that we can and can't do or we can and can't get away with that we were able to even under uh, number 45. But nonetheless, things have changed. People have changed. Has it been for the better or for the worse? I'll just say this. It depends on where you are, which is what I've always been saying in this channel. Location, location, location. And in regards of where in the country and where in America, where we can find our peace, where we can find acceptance. And yes, I'm, I'm going to say acceptance because every other group can find acceptance and not have individuals get a stick up their rear ends talking about you should accept yourself and look to the motherland and all. Look, save the crap. How about you do that? Oh, wait. Only two of you are doing that. And the ones who are doing that, they aren't giving us grief for the most part. Shout out to the real Afrocentrics, the pan Africans. I'm not talking about the eat dish pan pizza guys who want to put up these phony lists, these dirty dozen individuals, which by the way, we may revisit that list soon. But nonetheless, as far as where in America can you find acceptance? You can actually do your own research, as a matter of fact. And I've, came, I've come up with two ways in which you can find places where you will find acceptance and places where you won't. Now, with this being said, we have all the time in the free world, especially these days, of between the beer flu, not being able to go out, and working from home, which I found this to be very convenient when it comes to doing some stuff or just listening to some stuff in the background in regards of what's trending. One of the things I like watching, and this is actually the first way that you can determine where you can find acceptance and peace as well, as any man. And take because to be honest, it varies depending on which race of men you are and what part of the country you're looking in. So the first way that I would do, or first thing I would do to weed out places where you may not find as much peace is for the place that you are interested in, particularly a place that you're interested in moving to or even staying for an extended period of time. Do this. Go on one of the four big, big four news stations, right? And we all knew what they are. If you don't know, it's CBS, ABC, NBC and Fox, right? Those are going to be your big four stations, in, at least in America. I know it's different, and it varies depending on country. And if you're really smart, you can do this for um, other countries as well. But in the United States, all those four stations have local affiliate stations that are based in particular cities. They're usually four or three call letters. I know, well, I won't tell you the ones that I have right now or the ones where I'm from, but I can, well, I can tell you this. Go on those stations and find a particular time to watch because you, you got to watch these during certain hours. And it's, I say, well, yeah, you can do it on, well, actually, hell, you don't even need to sit and watch live. You can, if you really are intuitive and really do the research, go and find the websites of all four big affiliate stations and then just go on the front page of their websites and notice at a particular notice a particular thing right 
if you see stories or better yet, and I say this is the reason why I say you may want to watch it live because it actually, I mean, one can read an article and just say, hey, whatever, but the effect is a lot different watching it live versus reading an article online. But if you want to watch the news or read the front page of the major Fox, NBC, CBS, ABC affiliate, and look for crime stories. Crime stories where the suspect looks like you. Particularly those that are local. Because there will always be a national story where someone looks like this, or someone may look Hispanic, or in some cases, brothers from other mothers, um, white dudes, some cases Asian dudes. Um, yeah, that's always going to happen on a national level, but you have I would insist on looking for stories, local stories, of guys that look like us. And I would measure it by, one, the frequency of stories, crime stories that you see where the suspect looks like us. And two, how soon do they put this on the news? And this is where watching the news live comes very useful because if the first story that you see the first stories that you see, at least within the first 10 minutes, I'd say 10 to 15 minutes, well, 10 minutes if it's a half hour news segment or 15 to 20 minutes if it's an hour news segment. If one of the first stories includes stuff and BS and crime that people of your race have done, if they put that on like white on rice, no pun intended, or black on ice, I don't know, then don't choose that city, I'm sorry, don't choose a city where it's mainstream media will plaster people who look like you as the face of crime in a heartbeat, because a lot of people, even though a lot of people, particularly a lot of young people don't watch the news, they listen to social media, they look at social media, and a lot of those news stories, in some cases, come out quicker on social media than they do on the mainstream news. But nonetheless, if you want to see who is at the scapegoat, who's the scapegoat at said town or city or metropolitan area, see the kind of individuals who end up on those police reports, on those crime reports. And if they put you on every story, put a remember your race on every other story, or if you are the main, if your race, if the guy who say broken and you know shot someone and you know someone if that's the first story every other night don't even bother in that area that place has an agenda or if nothing else um, there are a lot of people who look like you who are of the lower economic class and a lot of people outside of that class and that race are aware of it and if you go to those cities they will likely treat you in the same boat so the second thing that I recommend doing, and this is more or less a more of a lighthearted thing. I could make this two videos, two separate videos, but for the sake of time, you know what? I'm just going to make this all into one video. For all you guys who have dating apps, I know a lot of you people say, Oh, Tom, why would we do dating apps? Yeah, you do dating apps. You do dating apps. Listen to me. Listen. There are plenty of dating apps where you can change your location to anywhere around the world. So I would do this experiment in which you, whether it's through some sort of GPS locating the app, a third party app, if you know how to use that, or changing the location on your browser, actually the browser on your computer is actually one of the better ways to do it. But if you can't, then do it on your GPS app, get a third party GPS app, put it to wherever you are interested in, whatever place you're looking at, and then sign up for those dating apps or reactivate those dating apps or make sure that the dating app location shows that you are in a specific place, that specific place that you want to be in. And see how many matches you get. Not only that, see the quality of matches you get. That right there will tell you if you're going to have an easy time in that place, if you're going to have a decent time, yeah, you may get like I don't know, per 50,000 people, you get you get one match per 100,000 people per day. 
I think that's a good ratio right there, especially with the dating market and how fish it is in this country right now. I'm not saying who's at fault. That's not what this video is for. But if you can get one match per 100,000 people in your radius per day, that I would say is doing decent. I'm talking about one person that you find attractive. I'm not talking about the one time where you swiped on uh, on the whale. And I'm not talking about the crypto whales. I'm, I'm you swiped accidentally swiped on the rail, and that whale is the one that you match. With. No, we're not talking about those. If you can get at least one match per one hundred thousand, now fifty thousand, you're doing something. And twenty five thousand, one match for twenty five thousand people per day. You're a celebrity. You're, you're, you're no, don't do. Hit the, hit the cash app, as pro wax like to say while gambling. All the donation money away. I'm not even gonna go there. Look, those are two things that you can do in order to check to see if or where you, as a man of any race, whether it's a brother, a brother from other mothers, whether they're south of the border or east of the pond or west of the pond, depending on where your direction is, or natives to here. I mean, come on. I wonder sometimes. I, I get it. Yeah, you look at me. I look predominantly black, but not, sometimes I wonder. You know, I, I wonder about the true origins. Of, anyway, look, just some advice, just some tidbits for you to do your own research and to help you guide your own way to where you will have a better opportunity to find acceptance. Everyone else, take care.